Coptic Voice Radio presents the reading of the Synexarium and the Antiphonary of this blessed day. Today is the 21st day of the blessed month of Mesa. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven through the tender mercies of our Lord, all my fathers and my brethren. Amen. On this day, the Church celebrates the commemoration of all the pure Saint Mary, Mother of God, the Word, who intercedes for us before her beloved Son. May her prayers be with us. Amen. On this day also, St. Irene departed. She was the daughter of a pagan king whose name was Lucius. She was exceedingly beautiful. Her father loved her very much. Therefore, he built a fortified mansion for her. He assigned 13 maids to serve, guard, and protect her from what might defile the name and honor of her family. St. Irene was then six years old, and her father left some statues for her to worship. Her father also assigned a wise old teacher to instruct her. Once St. Irene saw in a vision a dove with an olive leaf in her mouth, and the dove came and laid it on the table before her. Then there came an eagle with a crown, which he also laid on the table afterwards. A raven came with a serpent which he laid on the table. St. Irene was frightened by this vision, and she revealed this vision to her teacher. Her father was unaware that the teacher was Christian. The teacher explained the vision to her, saying, The dove is teaching of the law. The olive leaf is baptism. The eagle is victory, and the crown is glory of the saints. The raven is king and the serpent is the persecution. He concluded his talk by saying that she had to struggle for the sake of the faith of the Lord Christ. One day her father came to visit her. He proposed that she marry one of the princes. She asked him for three days in which she might think it over. After her father had left, she went to the statues and asked them to advise her on what was right for her, but they did not answer. The saint lifted up her eyes to heaven and said, O oh God of the Christians, guide me to whatever pleases you. The angel of the Lord appeared to her and said, Tomorrow one of the disciples of St. Paul will come to you, will teach you what you need to know, and then will baptize you. The next day, St. Timothy the Apostle came to her, taught her the essentials of Christianity, and baptized her. When her father knew that, he summoned her. When he verified this news from her profession in the Lord Christ, he tied her to the tail of an untamed horse and then released it. Nevertheless, God preserved her, and she was not harmed. Instead, the horse itself turned and grasped with his mouth the arm of her father hurled him to the ground, and her father fell dead. With the prayers of his daughter, St. Irene, he was risen alive. The father, his wife, and 3,000 persons came, became Christians, and they all were baptized. God honored this saint with several inspired miracles, which she wrought before governors and kings, and many had believed because of her. When she fulfilled her strife, she departed in peace. May her prayers be with us, and glory be to God forever. Amen. This is the antiphonary of the 21st day of the blessed month of Misra. Mary the Virgin. Sweet your name, great in heaven and on earth. Sweet is your name because you carry God whom is served by the angels. 
Mary the Virgin, sweet in the mouths of the prophets and the patriarchs, when they spoke of your honor. Sweet in the mouths of the cherubim and the seraphim, for they too speak of your honor. It is among the ranks of the angels, the saints, and the martyrs. It is in the heavenly Jerusalem, where God dwells with the angels. Sweet is your name in the churches, in which the Orthodox serve. Father Cyril, the lion's cub, joys in the blessedness. And David the king blesses you in the psalm, saying, Open your doors, O chiefs, for the king of glory to enter. He likes the door to the holy city, the new Jerusalem, the city of the Lamb, Virgin Mary. Gently abundant is your beauty, adornment, for you are the city of God and the great king. Hail to you, Mary, the jeweled virgin. Your pure womb is the place of purity. Hail to the virgin who gave birth to Emmanuel. He came and saved us from our sins. Hail to her who gave birth to the bridegroom, who saved the world that had been desolate. Hail to the door facing east, which Ezekiel saw. Hail to the container of salt, with salt in it curing all souls that rotted because of sin. Hail to the temple of God the Father. Hail to the dwelling of God the Word. Hail to the temple in which God dwelt and where presented him with all her young companions. Hail to the spacious chapel who received unto herself God our Savior. Hail to her who heard, look and lean to listen to the hidden mystery of God. Hail to her who gave birth to the bridegroom who saved the world from death and sins. Hail to you, Mary the Virgin and the Saint. Hail to one who is adorned in every kind of adornment. We also pray that we may win mercy through your intercessions before the lover of mankind. Wise Virgin, Saint Irene, truly I am astounded in speaking of your honor. She was the daughter of King Lucianus. He built her a castle with many walls and appointed a wise man to teach her letters and wisdom. She lived in the tower and she had six maidens assigned to her service. Her father consulted with, with her about betrothing her to a son of one of the princes. She said, slow down, give me three full days. She cut her hair and came before the idol so that they might address her with regards to the marriage and concerning the wedding. And when they did not talk to her, she raised her eye toward heaven and said, Help me and make me success in doing what pleases you, O God of the Christians. An angel came to her and said to her, Tomorrow a disciple of Paul, the apostle, will come to the city. He will baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. The disciple came to her and informed her of the mysteries of what had happened to her. When her father came to her, as had been agreed, she let him know openly that I have, that I have become a Christian. He told her of the tower and tortured her severely. When no evil befell her, her father the king believed in Christ. This virgin received tortures of every kind. Christ performed great miracles and many wonders by her hands. As for those who believed because of her, they numbered 113,000. She reposed later with great glory and much honor. Pray to the Father on our behalf, O Bride of Christ, St. Irene. He may forgive us our sins.